Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. I'd like to welcome you back today to Daily Dose Radio and to all our partners all over the world. Thank you for um, sharing Daily Dose Radio with your listeners. We're so glad to be here today and to be studying Psalm 99. This week, all this week, we're studying Psalm 99, and today we're looking at verses 2 and 3. So let's uh, read the Word of God together today. Psalm 99, verses 2 and 3. The Lord is great in Zion. He is high above all the people. Let them praise thy great and terrible name, for it is holy. So yesterday we talked about the great paradox that God who reigns is to be feared, people to tremble before him. Yet the same God, he's merciful because he sits upon the mercy seat. He sits between the cherubim, which is the mercy seat. Let the earth be moved. That is, the earth is just so confounded by this great God who is at one time judging sin, and, and next he's giving mercy to the sinner. And that is who he is. He is this great paradox. Today, we look at verses 2 and 3. The Lord is great in Zion. Of course, now Zion being Jerusalem, the place where he had put his name, made it there, it's going to be, that's where his name is going to dwell. That city will be known by him. His temple was there. The um, tabernacle that David built for the ark was there. Solomon built the temple. Then the temple was rebuilt after the children came back during the time of Nehemiah and Ezra. And then we had it improved and reconstructed during the time of Herod in the first century. It's that place, that spot on that hill where the Lord's name dwells. And he is great there because that's the place of his worship. So the Lord is great in Zion. He is high above all people. Now, everyone who comes to worship there knows that. But this is a statement of general purpose, that God is over all things. He is, he is over those people that were mentioned there in verse 1. The people. Let the people tremble. So all of mankind. He is high above all of that. He's in Zion, but he's high above all the people. So it's not just Zion. He's over everyone, whether they recognize him as God or not. He is above them all. Let them praise thy great and terrible name. Now, we go back to the very themes that we had in verse 1. It is great because he's merciful. It is terrible because he's mighty. He reigns as king, and yet he sits on the mercy seat. So we have the name of God, great and terrible, because he is both. He is wonderful to his people. He is powerful, and he is forgetting, forgiving. <laughs> oh, boy, that was a slip of the tongue. He, is, he forgets nothing. He forgives all things. Let them praise. So, <clears throat> now the word praise there, where we talked about that at the beginning yesterday, remember? The the differences or the, the comparison that we made between 96 and 97, singing to the Lord, and then 97, the Lord reigns, and then 98, singing to the Lord, and then 99 today or this week, the Lord reigns. So we're singing or praising His person. And what about His person are we learning this week? that he's great and terrible, that he's merciful and he's also powerful, that he's a creator of all things, and yet he sits on the mercy seat and receives our petitions and forgives our sins. What a wonderful God. And then notice verse 3, the very last phrase there. For it is holy. What's the it? The it is his name. His name is holy. And his name is always holy. And ladies and gentlemen, you know, he tells us to walk in holiness because he is holy. Since God is holy, we as his people are to be holy. And Christian friend, I want to ask you, are you walking in holiness today? You need to examine your life because the name of God is holy and it's that name that he has placed upon you. It's great and it's terrible. Oh, and I know you you depend on that mercy, and that's wonderful. But what are you doing about the terrible part? You need to walk in holiness because the terrible part is still there. And he will judge sin even in the life of the believer. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. We're going to look at verses 4 and 5 on Daily Dose Radio. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.